in general, for GMAT problems, when you're dealing with really little numbers or very large numbers, you'll use a form of scientific notation. And I'm just throwing that out there. Uh, there's a key word in this prob problem. It says, it gives the radical, and it says it's closest in value. In closest, if they said closest or if they said approximate, what that means is you can mess with your numbers to make them nicer. For example, watch. All right. To start with, this, this will be equivalent, but let's make this 48. See, 4.8 times a 10 times a 10 to the 8th. 10 times 10 to the 8th will give you 10 to the 9th. But let's take this 10 and multiply it by the 48, by the 4.8, excuse me. And that gives you 48. Just moves the decimal one place to the right, times 10 to the 8th. Now, 48, think about what we're thinking about square roots. For the square root of 48, or 48 is about what? It's about 49, isn't it? So let's switch it. So what's the square root of 49? 7. And the way you simplify a base with, the, which, with an exponent with underneath the radical, you take the index, this case is a square root, understood to be a 2, and divide 2 into this exponent. 2 will go into 8 four times, so you bring out 10 to the fourth. And um, if there was any left over, like if that had been a nine, if you had the square root, excuse me, if you had the square root of 10 to the ninth, that would be two will go to nine four times, and you'd bring out a 10 to the fourth, but you'd have one left over, so you'd leave it underneath the radical, but that's not the case with our problem. Now, 7 times 10 to the 4, if this 4 means you're going to move the decimal four places to the right, the decimal's there. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, my radical is closest to 70,000, and that is answer B.